So I'm Matt BDD. So DDG came to New York to perform at the Music Hall of Williamsburg. Yesterday was a blur, I ain't gonna lie. Cause, all right bro, what's up? The way everything happened was just so perfect that it just blows my mind. My original goal wasn't to meet DDG, right? I want, I, I wanted to meet him, I ain't gonna lie. I really wanted to meet him. But I was like, you know what? I just wanna be close to the crowd because if I'm in the back, my 5'4 ass not seeing nothing, bro. Oh! All it takes is for a six foot person to stand in front of me and his raps. What am I watching? I'm not watching nothing, bro. It's, it's, it's literally rap. I was like, yo, we going early. I was like, yo, we going early. We waking up at like, I, I don't even know, getting dressed, getting ready out the door. I put my Crocs on and I got to step in, bro. My, my Crocs is my trap shoes, bro. If you step on anything, you're stepping on those. I'm not about to wear no crazy shit to get them shit stepped on. I go, right? And and I decide to post a video. It's out here hours before the show, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Go get your tickets right now. Link in bio. They got to fix his, his sound, though. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. That's fake, like, crazy, though. What are the chances that DDG, 5.5 million followers on Instagram, is going to see my story? I just post the story to, like, you know, show him that I'm supporting and I'm here. Bro, fun fact, that video took, like, six tries to make. No funny shit. I'm sitting there. And I'm eating, I'm eating a, a, a turkey and cheese on a roll, which doesn't have anything to do with the story time. I just felt like it was necessary to say that. I already know what to expect if someone reposts your thing. It doesn't only say it, but your views go up stupidly. My views is regular, and I was like, okay, he didn't repost it, but I'm, I'm chilling. I just, I was grateful to be in the same building as him. You feel me? So I just wanted to get there early, so that way I can see the stage. Like I said, I'm 5'4", I'm short. What am I seeing if a six foot person stand in front of me? The back of a head, bro, I'm be drip. I'm sitting down on this little fire hydrant, and I'm scrolling. My phone is glitching. My phone is glitching for some reason. Tell Nate, to look at her phone. She looks at the story, a DDG story. He reposted what I said saying that I was there. We was there at four. The show started at like eight. When he reposted my, my Instagram story, he said, I owe you a meet and greet. I was flipping the fuck out. I ain't gonna lie. I hugged Nate, called my mom, called my sister, called my bro. I called everybody and they mother, bro. I was passed, I was passed. More people start showing up, more people start coming. I'm like, okay, cool. They start putting like the... Yeah, things so people can't you know cross a certain place long story short we get inside i'll run to the front of the stage i ain't gonna lie i run to the front of the stage and i'm there i'm over here waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting and ddg nowhere to be found i'm like damn bro like where you at son like i said the show was supposed to start at eight the show started at no no funny shit like 8 30 8 8 35 and the dj announces uh the first artist first artist comes does his thing yo, yo. Okay. Second artist, Baby Rich, comes outside, does his shit, he was wildin' And then I'm looking up, and all you see is Dub and the Shay up there looking down And I'm just like, what the f- It came down, Dub and, and the Shay are hilarious, bro Like, it's, it's no joke, bro, they're just mad funny The Shay start working on his New York accent Come on, my boss, I swear to God, I'm dead ass psyched, nigga Uh-huh, hey. uh-huh uh -huh. uh -huh. Hey, and we finna start the show, but I gotta ask something. What do you get me mad tight beat me? You get me mad tight? You get me tight? But where did the beat come from? Like really me? He is a person? And tight is... Relax, relax. If he's like, calm down. 
Tight, tight. We started chanting DDG name. DDG. 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 It comes out, right? The song he came out to was the Ari Carly freestyle. Oh. Now I'm trying to get him to dab me up on bro. Yo, 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 yo. So uh, he ends up dabbing us up like fourth. Fifth song. He's sitting there. Yo, every single one of the dog, the shade, uh, uh, DDG, Kane's dancing. That shit on stupid. Stupid. Let's, let's start talking about how I got on, up on stage. I'm seeing Dub like look at me, right? And he's looking, but like he's like kind of confused on who I am. And then after a while, he, I think he goes, I wasn't paying attention, bro. I was singing my heart out. I ain't gonna lie. He played Treat Me Right. <laughs> You know, that's my shit. I had peeped them looking at me like two, three times. Bro, I'm in the front, bro, of course. They're gonna see everybody in the front, so I'm like, bro, I don't even, like, I'm think I'm not thinking nothing of it. All I know is that DDG was looking for another song to play. We didn't want him to leave, or he already played his line of songs, so, um, he was looking for another song to play, and he was going to replay Moonwalking in the Calabasas. So he replayed it, and he stopped it. He was like, yo, do y'all mind if I replay a song? And it was like, nah, 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 do you think, do you think? He replayed the song, but he stopped it, he was like, yo, who know this song? And everybody starts, yo, me, 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 me. Dub walks up to DDG, I kid you not. Let's just pretend the chair's DDG, right? He does something like this, and I'm sitting like right there, so I'm looking at them, and he goes, him right there. Like, he go like, like right there, right there. DDG looks at me, and he goes, you know the song? And, and I was like, yeah, yeah. And mind you, people that know me, I'm mad shy, bro. I don't like talking, I don't like nothing. So, to me getting on this stage right now, this shit can either be really bad or really fucking good. No funny shit, I'm shook. So, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. DDG sticks his hand out, right? I grab his hand, he pulls me up, right? DDG talking to me, and I'm fake not paying attention, because all I see is this shit right here, like, oh! yo, yo. And I'm like, oh, hell nah. Like, what's your name? And I'm like, Samuel, Sammy, Sammy. What's your name, bro? Sammy, 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 Sammy. Sammy, Sammy. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Look, look. Make some motherfucking noise for Sammy right now. Yeah. And the shade comes up. Yo, you don't fuck up. He got his, he got his phone in his hand. And, and the dub got a big ass camera just like, like this right here. And I'm like, oh, nah. Now I'm feeling the pressure. I'm like, hold on. He's like, I don't even want to sing no more. I don't even want to rap no more, Sammy. <laughs> Sammy, listen, I don't even want to rap. This your stage, whatever. The, the, I'm you gonna hear in the video. I'm just sitting there. Like, I bet I got you. I got, I got you. I got you. Got you. I got you. He goes, yo, drop that shit. You feel me? And then one hears, ding, 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 and I'm like, oh shit, this shit real. Now the reason why I was so nervous, eighth grade graduation. I had to do a performance in front of my graduating class and their parents and their brothers and their grandmas and their aunties and everybody and their mother was there. Their mother mother was there. Like I was mad tight. When do you get me mad tight beat me? That's how it, that, that's what happened. Like, like, bro. So that's the first thing that's in my mind when I'm on stage. The first thing that's on my mind. Don't let this shit be eighth grade graduation because you're gonna be Let's, let's just wait for the alarm to, you know. So, right? What the fuck? How the fuck do I perform this, right? So I'm sitting there, he telling me not to fuck up. The shade telling me not to fuck up. Not only am, is he telling me not to fuck up, he recorded me at that. All these people recorded me at that. And I'm like, I can't fuck up. So he tells the DJ to drop the beat and <laughs> the rest is history, you feel me? This is what I'm finna do right here. What do I be seeing every time? Yo, what's up, man? Like, I'm 18 and I'm 5'4". But I still saw DDG, so it don't even matter. Well, I'm nervous. I'm over here walking like this. Bonus is always a G. I Mama was struggling, paying the rent. I couldn't hope it was shit. Hey, shit, I cried at night. I I kept moving my mic, oh, my mouth away from the mic. So I'm like, hold on. She told me to keep going. He like. All I know is that I was in Crocs wallet. Word. These are the these are the famous Crocs right here that I had on. Everybody was talking about my Crocs. Yes, I had Crocs on. But I had Crocs on. I was wilding in the Crocs. I was over here jumping. I could have broke my ankle, but it's cool. The concert, right? 
you're gonna see that I move the microphone away from my mouth, right? But you can still see me like, saying the lyrics. Every time I would move the microphone away, I would still say in the lyrics. It was not like I was stopping because I didn't know the lyrics. I knew the lyrics, but I would pick up the microphone at the wrong time. I was more ahead than the um the song. That's why it kind of sounds like I'm mumbling a little bit. Kind of picked it back up. I'm over here. I'm over here running around in the stage. Diddy G is just like I just see him smiling because his veneers is dumb white that you can see that shit from fucking a mile away. I see him smiling. The shade supposedly was chasing me back and forth. Dub was fucking dumb weak. Baby Rich was getting lit, right? All I see is the shade go like this. Shay's in a fucking crowd doing whatever the fuck this Shay's doing. I don't know how performers do it, bro. I literally do not know how performers do it. Yo, props to y'all for real. Like, DDG, props to Playboy Cardi, props to Lil Uzi, props to all of y'all. Because jumping up and down and running back and forth on that stage, I could see why the fuck y'all be taking y'all pants off and shit. Like, I I'm sorry. I was sitting there like, yo. At one point, I'm over here like... I know at one point Dub recorded me, I'm over here like, uh, uh, man, just like a late, like, uh, and then he starts rapping after a while, because he sees that I'm ahead of the beat, so he start rapping with me, I put my arm around him, he put my, his arm around me, we over here getting lit, we rapping around together, I'm like, yo, what the fuck, bro, like, this shit is a movie. Yeah. All good though, I'ma note that shit, when I blow, you're a bitch, humble ass nigga, but I know I'm rich. The concert's done. Um, show's over. Uh, DDG says his goodbyes, but the dub and the shade, the shade come up to me, dab me up. Uh, DDG come up to me, dab me up. They both try to dab me up at the same time, so I dab the shade and then I dabbed him up. And he was like, oh shit, you don't know, nah, my fault, my fault, my fault. He says his goodbye. The shade comes up to me and dub comes up to me. Dub says, you were the kid that was here like hours earlier, like two hours earlier before the show, right? I was like, yeah, I was here since four. The shade was like, yo, 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 fucking stage performance? And he dies me up and he was talking, we was talking, I'm like, oh nah. Yeah, they be here with y'all, man. Make some motherfucking money. Hey listen, we better start the meet and greet. So if you got the meet and greet, I'm gonna see you in a little second, alright? I was like, yeah, I've been watching him since I was 14. I'm 18 now. And they were like, nah, that's love. That's love. Everybody goes. I stay on the I stay on the stage. Like I was on the stage for that long. I was on the stage. I was on the stage like this, right? On the stage like this. Shit. The shade was in my phone like this. My phone was literally dying, bro. Like so all the videos I got are literally the videos that I only have. Like everything else is gone. I, I wait on the line for the meet and greet. I meet DDG. First thing he says to me is, congratulations on your first performance. That's a fat ass beat. He's like, congratulations on your first performance, man. And I was like, thank you, bro. And I dab him up. We take, I, I talk to him first. I'm like, yo, bro, I've been watching you since I was 14. I'm 18 now, right? And he's like this. He's like, oh, where that's love. We talking. Like, you made me start my YouTube. I bought my camera. I bought my MacBook. All of that, bro. And he was like, we got to get a video for your vlog. And I was like, yeah, my phone's dead, but it's cool. I'll, I'll just get a picture. And I took a picture with him, right? Still end up talking. I was like, I remember when you made Zooted. Bro, I was so nervous. And he's just looking at me talking. And I'm like, bro, I don't even know what to say, bro. And he's laughing, right? Bro, one of the most genuine people alive, bro. No funny shit. He's, he's laughing and he's like, it's good, bro. It's all right, bro. I asked him to sign my case. He ends up signing my case. I, I hope it's not inverted, but it says DDG and shit like that. The day before that, I see Zs too. It's like, I've been watching Zia since I was in sixth grade too. So I'm like, yo, bro, like what the f I asked him when he was coming back to New York. He was like, he's coming back soon. All I can say is, for real, thank you DDG for having me up there, for real, noticing me, being real. You feel me? Somebody else would've just been like, bro, whatever. Like most I did was repost and I'm not about to do anything. Thank you Dub for pointing me out, for real. Thank you Deshae for your energy, Baby Rich for being up there, your energy. Everybody's energy, bro. The DJ energy, uh, the crowd, bro. Everybody, bro. That shit was amazing. And even if it was somebody else up there and it wasn't me, I still would have been as happy, bro. 
Real talk. I was happy touching his fucking Prada boots or whatever the fuck he had on. I was happy t fucking touching his boots. I'm like, yo, we lit. You feel me? Yeah, before I end the video though, I put like a Q&A so y'all could get like shit y'all questions in and y'all could be a part of the video too. Were you nervous? I owe it to me, DDG. Bro, I was dumb nervous. Stupid nervous. But I was also really excited. 14 year old me was, was bugging on the inside, not gonna lie. Who set up to meet up with him? Uh, it was literally all luck. It was literally all God and all luck. Like real talk, I, I sat there and I recorded that and I didn't expect him to see it at all. But if we're talking about who got me on stage, it was dope. It definitely dope. Why didn't you do a stage dive? It would have been more crazy. A fucking stage dive? Yo, you're... Nah, what? Oh! Yo, first of all, we already seen how New York be with that. Cause, cause huh, when 6 9 threw himself off that stage, what the fuck happened? Oh! Huh, word. That wasn't finna be me. Cause like I said, when I was up on that stage, that shit could've either went really good or really bad. And even if it would've been really good like it was, it would've been really bad if I would've chose to throw myself off that thing. I was not doing that, thank you. We know how, how New York get with them stage dives. Who did the conversation starter? Uh, towards me getting on the stage was dubbed, like I said. Um, for the meet and greet that I did with him, it was him. He said, uh, the, the shit he said where he was like, congratulations on your first show, man. Uh, were you scared? Scared as fuck. Does he recognize his fans from South Africa? I'm pretty sure he recognized all his fans, bro. He was, wasn't he in like Europe or something like that? Bro, he definitely recognized his fans from South Africa. What was his personality like, bro? <laughs> bro has one of the most genuine personalities ever, bro. He's mad funny, smiles. I think they had him, they had him like, cause he had to go. So they had him on a 30 second uh, timer so you could talk to him and he would go past the timer and he wouldn't care, like he would still talk with you and shit. No, um, bro, no funny shit, you rocked out that concert. Thank you, thank you for real. That that was all nervous, like nervous energy. I was dumb nervous. Rate the experience, one through 10, 10 on it. How his skin felt. Hmm, nah, what? Can you say the following words New York is as possible? Pussy, word. Uh, Pussy word. What was your favorite part about that night? Bro, my favorite part was just everything, bro. The repost and the bro, I would have like I said, I would have been happy just being in the same building as him, bro. Like and that was my favorite part. You feel me? My favorite part was being up on that stage, getting lit with him. That's it for the video. I've been off of YouTube for seven months because I've I have a job. Like you know, I'm 18, I have a job. I try to do this YouTube thing, not as much as I can, but I guess this is my sign to keep doing it. Do good, I guess so. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, please. Roll to 1K if I can make that possible. If not, 300, you feel me? We a couple subs away from 300. So, y'all can make that possible by all means, go ahead. Like I said, big thank you to DDG and Dub and Shay and Baby Red Managers. Thank you so much. We're gonna forget that day. That case is not getting used. Those Crocs are not getting worn again. My new trap shoes are gonna be my form runners, and I gotta break these bitches in, cause I ain't gonna lie. The blisters on the side of my ankles is devious. Like, them I got in the shower, and them shits was burning. Like, it's like, like, worse than alcohol. By all means, by all jokes aside, everybody get lit, everybody say yeah! Bro, stop playing, we out here. What? That's the birthday boy right this? I'm playing with this, a birthday boy right this? Yeah. Yo, what the